Hi, my name is Lisa from the Children's Room at the Rochester Public Library, and I'm here to talk to you today about some of my favorite adventure books. Um, some of them are new, some of them are a little bit older. Uh, let's start with this one here. Um, Red Fox Road, I just finished not too long ago. Um, it's about a road trip gone wrong. Um, Francie and her parents are driving from British Columbia to the Grand Canyon. Dad decides to take a shortcut uh, on a dirt road and the truck breaks down. Her father decides he's gonna hike out for help and a few days later, uh, her mother decides she's gonna go look for the father. So Francie's left all by herself um, and it's a great story of survival also just dealing with some family issues as well but the great part of it is definitely going to be how Francie survives out there all alone and is she going to get help in time great story and a wonderful read this one alone in the woods by Rebecca Barron she's written a couple along this lines where again we've got some girls in survival situations these best friends go on an annual summer trip together that their families always do but as kids get older, sometimes you find you grow apart from your friends, but they uh, wind up going on a tubing trip and the girls get separated from the, everybody else on the trip and are left to fend for themselves. Will the friendship survive and will they survive? Again, a really fun, exciting read. This one, Terror at Bottle Creek, deals with hurricanes. There's a big Category 3 hurricane heading for the Gulf Coast and this boy Court is at home alone. His father is a guide out in the bayous and he is in, it's left to deal with everything by himself. He then eventually hooks up with a couple of girls who were in the neighbor, uh, neighborhood and the two girls and he decide they're gonna have to get to safety. They have to deal with wilderness situation and dealing with uh, wild animals, alligators of course. Um, again, a great exciting read on that one. Going where it's dark, uh, Buck is a kid who loves to go caving. So he does not have a fear of dark, small places. He's quite brave for that. He finds refuge from his stuttering issues by going down into the caves and caverns um, and tunnels in his uh, neck of the woods. He finds a tunnel nobody else has discovered, which is always a big special thing for a caver. And armed with just his helmet, headlamp, and a flashlight, he goes down into this tunnel. So it's a great read, uh, definitely a, a fun, exciting one for kids that might be interested in doing some caving. And those are some of my favorites in the suspense outdoor adventure neck of the woods. And I've got others to recommend as well. So feel free to put these on hold if you're interested or come in and, or call and talk to me and I'll be glad to help you out. If you'd like to put these on hold, give us a call at 332-1428 and we can do that for you or visit our website at www.rpl.lib.nh.us. Thanks.